exciting times. We had uh, a very short window to get uh, a majority of union members signing up to break away from the International Union. And in the interim, the convention was still proceeding in Miami. And it started with the uh, International Executive Board, which I was the Canadian director. And um, we had to try and balance our responses to the board meeting with knowing what kind of numbers we were getting at home and across Canada to form the uh, union. We also knew that um, uh, we were not looked at favorably, to say the least, by the international, and we're looking at potential charges individually. So it was frightening, and at the same time, knowing the numbers and the support from the members across Canada gave us the, the backbone to continue going to those meetings every day. And uh, all of our vice presidents from Canada uh, ensured that I was the only spokesperson for Canada as a Canadian director. And uh, so the international president always tried to divide the vice presidents, but we presented a solid front. And uh, it was uh, a great, a great ending for all of us. Yeah, when we uh, knew we had all of the numbers, so we requested a meeting with the uh, International Board and with um, President Michael Goodwin. The entire Canadian executive walked into the room with the uh, International Board members sitting around. And we, I walked over to Michael Goodwin with our letter in hand. We had our letter declaring Canadian autonomy and uh, providing the numbers. Uh, to say that we were going to be forming our own Canadian Union. And we presented the letter in both English and French. And uh, Michael Goodwin was just talking on the phone and ignoring us as we were standing there. So we waited patiently. And the look on his face when we presented that and handed up at that with all of the copies, declaring our Canadian autonomy and turning around and walking out the door. And we were all cheering when we went out. And uh, I think we left the executive board completely dumbfounded that uh, we were able to conduct that kind of um, collective action in such a short space of time. Uh, we had uh, everybody brainstorming. We wanted to be very inclusive because we were picking our, our name to uh, declare our Canadian autonomy. and. Uh, I know that personally what I really wanted in the name was that it was Canadian because we had struggled so hard to become a Canadian Union that uh, we wanted to emphasize that. So we ended up uh, with Canadian Office of Professional um, Employees Union and uh, that seemed to be the majority decision so I was happy with that.